Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. <laughs> um, I know it's been about a week since I last streamed, but uh, over the weekend I just felt like completely drained with migraines. <laughs> Hello Sovereign, welcome to stream. The tales of my death were in fact greatly exaggerated. It was much, much cooler. Um, yeah, I just felt like, bleh, didn't really feel like doing anything, so, not really in a good position to stream, but, yeah, weather migraines suck. Thank you for the, uh, the well wishes. But, um, day late for N7 day, but... Oh well, we're back and ready to go. We last time we just finished um, rescuing the Turian Primarch. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. That sounds very right. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. And when you put it that way... The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I love this hoodie jacket uh, mod. It finally gives Femshep the jacket she deserves. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan. And I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I can relate. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. Oh, he does? You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. Uh, we'll do that. Our things on Palavan. The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Yep. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavin. And mine with Earth. Who knows what the, what the fuck? Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Anyway, as I say, uh... Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Yeah, yeah, deck three. On deck three. Um, a war of annihil species annihilation. Um, you gotta do anything you can to survive. And, uh, hope, and all I can do is hope and pray that you win, and that there will be pieces of your civilization left to pick up at the end. Is everything okay? That's what I'm gonna find out. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire, or something. These guys have breathing masks on. 
<laughs> Chef's like, screw it, I'm going in no breathing mess. I die like Edith, real human. Talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. No kidding. What exactly happened? A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus the fire. Well, nice going. Well, if it means having full access to the Prothean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. She wants to come you mean along. You could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. <laughs> oh, Edie wants to come along with Mama Shepard. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Yeah. Just that... don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. <laughs> On that, we can agree. <laughs> Was that Edie who just walked by? Yes, it was. Oh, Joker is going to have a field day with that. So how may I help you, Commander? Uh... How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stopped before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Great. See you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Um, doctor, you, you're clipping through your desk. Are, are you all right? Yeah? Uh, okay. <laughs> you're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus. I'll be fine, Leora. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Any other intel? No. Something on your mind? Just old memories. I spent a few weeks on Palavin's South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. Not to make sure what make a Javik a birch well he was we were traveling to a different system, but it was a very glad to talk. Okay. Well oh. greetings, Commander. Let's go talk with Garrus. Two of our 
Archons have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primarch. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around, and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's her. She's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm sure it will, sir. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. <laughs> Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Yeah, so... Is this the part where we... shake hands? Wasn't sure about the protocol on reunions. Or if you even still felt the same way about me. The scars are starting to fade. I remember they drove you wild. <laughs> but I can go out and get all new ones if it'll help. I haven't forgotten our time together. Well, I've been doing some more research on human customs. I didn't... That's the protocol. I got an interrupt. The vids mentioned it might go something like that. I had hoped it would. I mean, I didn't know. You've been watching vids. I can't promise how things will work out. Not with this war. But I missed you, Garrus. I thought about you a lot. Glad to know my romantic um, <clears throat> skills made an impression. Because it's going to take more than Reapers to come between this cross-species liaison. <laughs> Speaking of which, you said you're the expert advisor on Reapers now? It's not as impressive as it sounds. <laughs> I ruffled some feathers, so they gave me a token title, along with the token task force, so I'd shut up. How'd you manage that? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. It won't be easy. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember... ...we're in this together. And if it ends with both of us dying in a giant explosion taking out a Reaper... <laughs> we did it! On the other hand, uh, took the kill fuck, shot. we did it. <laughs> Something yeah. else you want to talk about? Uh, let's see here. Family on Palavan. You mentioned you still had family on Palavan. My father is there. Sister, too. How long's it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. Uh, don't worry, I guess. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. Uh... So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. Oh god. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But, he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. Thanks for telling the story. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. <laughs> he did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. 
And if you called them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. I do like how in Andromeda, if you get all the memory uh, triggers, um, it shows you a, a vid of Castus Vicarian, uh, Garrus' dad. And you can tell Castus is very proud of his son. Even if he did, didn't show it to Garrus, he was still... Uh, I, I'm glad that the Andromeda showed us that. What to do with him? As much as I could get away with, and a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will Pragmatic. he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. Well, maybe it could be you. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. <laughs> Why not? I've seen you in action. Think about it. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavan when this is over. Your confidence is inspiring, but it'll have to be someone who knows how to hold the hammer. That, uh, let's not go there. Vicarian must be very close to the, to Primarch. I would say no more than three or four steps down. That's all for now, Garrus. But stay close. We've got some catching up to do. Do you know where to find me? And this time, I can afford the good stuff. There are a few perks to being an expert Reaper advisor. Deal. <laughs> now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. All right. So let's go ahead and um, who do we need? To, let's check up on Cortez. we can trigger his next thing. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry. This bird's been rock solid. Do you ever rest? I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. Not what I meant. What about your waking hours? <laughs> Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. Well, don't work too hard. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So, before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There's this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Do it for me. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You can't. <laughs> I'm this close to making it an order. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, um, can I buy the Typhoon? No. 
Not quite. But we're getting close. Excuse me. Alright. Uh, I don't think there's anything in engineering we need to check up on. But we do need to go to the combat deck. Commander, I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. <coughs> but thanks, regardless. <laughs> While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Grissom Academy. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. Well, I'd like to help. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Nice work. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> All right. We'll go talk with Joker and Edie. Surprise, Trainer never dug deeper in ME2's events in yours. You'd think she would, wouldn't she, Cross? Um, maybe she did, but, uh,. I do know that uh, ME3 got rushed uh, later in its development cycle, so a lot of things probably ended up on the cutting room floor. So that might be one of them. Again, thank you, EA. Hey, Commander, check out my co pilot! Did you know about this? So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? No. Look at that. Not at all. I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jeff. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Um, I think EA had Bioware before ME3, because ME2 had EA on it, and even Dragon Age Origins is EA. Now, the original Mass Effect wa wasn't EA, that was strictly Bioware when, with Microsoft. But I'll have to relook the timeline. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under yeah, real combat conditions. Oh, if I can accompany okay. you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has series design oversights. At the moment, it appears <sighs> adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. <laughs> What's this about? 
Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants of course he bridge. approves. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. Uh -huh. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Well, um... As someone who's kind of... Uh, skeptical of AI, I do think it's kind of risky, but... If we want the AI to develop in the way... I mean, we, we should probably be treating them like full blown sentient beings in which case you gotta choose your own path Only just you like can humans really answer that question. that's or the point of free will organics but moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum no they shouldn't if I do not ask the crew for their opinion I could miss crucial context may I ask you the questions Jeff avoids when there is time will you answer them for me if you think it'll help I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Everyone needs guidance from time to time. Even supercomputers. Commander, you have a message from Major Elenko. He must be feeling better. Alright, let's bring up Kate. Oh boy, we got a lot of stuff. Mario Talok, I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You won't want to pass it up. I'm in a nightclub on the Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long. Up a quest. Jordan. John Doom Bow. From Caden. Hey, Shep. Those. They're through some combination of medical, miracle, and dumb luck, I survived the beating I took on Mars. The docs say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd really like to see if you can spare the time. Houdin offered to make me a specter, still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room at the hospital when you're on the Citadel, I'd like your advice. And this is from Thane. Shepard, I've called and I sent messages, but I got no response. With Earth's comm system out, I didn't expect this will get through either. I heard a rumor that the Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at Huerta Memorial under the name Tanner Nungura. Please excuse the moniker and this email's encryption. In my line of work, it's unwise to advertise my location, particularly when I'm not in good health. We should meet before the circumstances force us part again. Thing. Okay, and this is for, uh, um, uh, Leviathan. Commander, there's an Alliance researcher working on the Citadel named Dr. Garrett Bryson. I need you to meet with him right away. Bryson has uncovered important new information about the Reapers that could officially... that could have a direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts at the first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson's laboratory in the Citadel at once. Finally, Omega... Um, from Talok about the Omega DLC, who cares? Okay. We'll get to that later, but first, Grissom Academy. Because Grissom Academy is a timed mission. Meaning, if we don't do it fast, um, we lose out on it. Yeah, legitimately terrible things happen. Which is why I always do it. 
as soon as possible. Um, I've never actually had it happen, but um, if you don't go immediately, Jack gets captured by Cerberus. Yeah, did a good job of reminding you that your ex-buddies are evil. Only put. The same mission of the John Grissom Academy, commissioned in 2176, is to, quote, serve a student population demonstrating excellence and passion for math, science, and liberal arts. Its entirely human student body ranges in age from the early teens to the mid-twenties. Although the fact is not heavily advertised, the institution offer off also offers classes for students with biotic capability. The school's ascension project seeks to train those or these students and integrate them into normal society. Consider your first playthrough a failure to stay because not realizing it was time mission. Yeah. I just am always programmed to do the side quests first. So whenever one pops up, I just like, okay, do it. Which really helped out, because there are multiple time missions in this game. That if you don't do them immediately, or in a certain time limit, bad things happen. Like that Cerberus bomb, or Turian bomb on Tachanka. Yeah, if you don't do it immediately, it goes boom boom and wipes out a good 50% of the Krogan uh, war assets you just earned. Okay. What? Weapon damage. Take Garrus and Power damage. Shield. Yeah, we'll do that. Because that's a lions. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take the Black Widow and the Infinity Rifle. Garrus is going to take the Widow, normal Widow, and the Saber. Do what? Arm. Okay, yes, ability. Okay. okay, let's get rid of this shitty gun. Give you the hurricane. Do that. do the passive first. Power damage. We'll do that. Weapon damage. Or you want tech damage. Shield recharge. Or squad bonus. Okay. Next. We'll do defense matrix. Ability or shield bonus. We want that. Charge or power synergy. Or recharge or durability. Decoy. Shock. 
exploding decoy. Duration. Do that. Okay. Um, let's do go ahead and do incinerate. Max that out. Damage, burning damage, and armor damage. Alright, here we go. And four. There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. <clears throat> All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh, boy, can I? Joker, I want you to have fun. <laughs> Just don't get the ship blown up. I really like the look of the space station. It almost looks like a ship, like a Keep the shuttle in position. Republic we'll era Star Destroyer. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. What's up? Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together as biotic artillery. About Anderson. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes. We met... God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here, well, just tell him to stay alive. Will do. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Fair enough. Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. Mrs. Frover, there are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. Just 
casually one handing my black widow. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. Although I do have a mod that makes it weightless, so I'll get the door whatever. It leads to Orion Hall. All right. Well, can't can't do anything about that. Shot Garrus. There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. Alright, we'll look for her. Tactical Analysis Review Student ID number 275668. Unshielded opponent approaching at 2 o'clock, shielded opponent approaching at 12 o'clock. Both holding heavy pistols. What's the most effective way to take them down? You chose Shockwave. Correct answer. Singularity followed by warp. Instructor comments. Shockwave inadequate against shielded enemy. Your barrier would hold off long enough against heavy pistols for a singularity catch of both. Warp on the Unstable biotic field created by the singularity results in explosion, neutralizing both enemies. Earth has fallen because we're putting all of our hopes behind the Deus Ex Machina. Uh. One day you know will catch it. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's that's a problem I don't have. So I I I. Uh, I get other things in my recommended feeds that are very strange, but whatever. Structures log. The kids are getting better at this shit, but I'm worried. I don't think we got enough time to pull this off, and there's just no way they could really survive out there without way more training. Not without any field experience at all. Doing my best to get them ready. Didn't think I'd ever care this much, but I won't let anyone hurt them. They're my kids. Mine. It's been a few years since the Oscars have been here in the hot tub Twitch. Oh god. The hot tub meta. Yeah, I never had that, but... Edie's down.
It's okay. She needs help now. Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. This is clearly a robot talking. Commander, I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall. One of our instructors is with them, but they can't hold out much longer. Poor ass hasn't had the joy of being recommended in the likes of it. I'm fine with that. Nice job being vague yet very specific. Eat this. Jack? Shepherd? I want to look, it's like, no thanks. Got it. The students aren't a trained military force. They need support. Cerberus. You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. Bite me, Garrus. Better yet, bite her. Probably how she likes it. <laughs> okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing Hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic. I will destroy <laughs> you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Carolina may like a little rough play, yes. How long have we got? Two minutes tops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, ma'am. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. All right. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. 
The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep servers from boxing you in. All right. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. High priority targets. Do 9D, 12, 5D, prank status. Secure priority, or capture priority alpha. Bring back alive at all costs. Vital retrieval subject due to high level biotic abilities paired with high leadership tests and scores. Consider prime candidate for indoctrination and high level enhancements for subsequent long term infiltration relocation. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. Aww. Jack's a full-blown mama bear. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So you doubt them. So all this talk about biotic artillery strikes... It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But... They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. <laughs> What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Don't they get tired? Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base, holding that damn biotic bubble up against those bug things. <laughs> Ugh. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk him to death. <laughs> yeah, um, once, just out of curiosity, I did the Me Like I'm Pragia um, response. Oh boy, Jack did not like that at all. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. Everyone just like that. Really exactly. Of course we are. Sorry. So our teacher worked with Commander Shepard? That's pretty badass. Yeah. I wonder why she never mentioned it. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. I think I pulled a muscle in my brain. Just we'll be ready when you need us, Commander. I can't believe you and our teacher work together. With both of you here. Maybe we've got a chance. She's right. Because both of us are here, we they have a chance. If Jack died, um, Prangley would be lead. And you can get most of them rescued. Not all of them. Everyone, be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those those guys from above. A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. Don't take any risks. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low. Pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get... 
get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be half. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You can do this. You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared him in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Let's go. Gotta give that positive encouragement. Oh, shit. Okay, Atlas is down. We've got engineers coming up. I'm gonna rip you in half. Place that turret. There we go. We can go through that side area. Mission brief. High priority targets 125D Prangley, 262B Rodriguez. Other subjects are to be retrieved alive if possible. If unavoidable, bring back bodies for use as genetic testing materials. Addendum to the original brief. Subject zero is to be retrieved for further testing and possible conditioning. Current psych profile in the case of holding students hostage likely to be the most the successful tactic. Okay, Those really sounds of bitches. I'm taking a back route to the shuttles. I'll meet you there. Nice one, Frankly! Stay dodgeball, Rodriguez! Keep your damn barriers up! They are very evil. I was always in the assumption that Cerberus was evil. Just an enemy of my enemy sort of thing. Pyromaniac!
we go. Everyone okay up there? Rodriguez took one in the arm because she didn't watch her barrier. How does I reached the service shuttles without being detected? How do my reviving you know doing, you need to hurry. How am I reviving Edie? She's a synthetic. I guess I'm just turning her off and turning her back on again. Quick reboot. Magic. Okay. Specter Alliance N7. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, do you know her? Yes. She rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. She made it quiet. Because David vouched for us, we didn't have to Great do a Paragon Renegade check. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, thanks. <laughs> he looks much healthier. I remember you. The Normandy computer. Sorry. No apology is necessary. How you been doing? Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. Yeah, if you, uh, don't send David here, um, not only will he end up dying, um, in order to convince Octavia to lower the shield, you have to pass a reputation check. I don't know what happens if you fail. But, uh, but with David here, he vouches for us. Oh yeah, I know what happens if you don't send David here. I know what happens to David. He, uh, to put it mildly, dies. Um, after, um, uh, a lot of subsequent torture. Sniper rifle piercing box. like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. High priority target student ID 262B Rodriguez. Status, capture priority alpha, bring a light we're back alive at all costs. Final retrieval subject due to high aptitude scores. Despite limited biotic ability, consider prime candidate for indoctrination enhancement under the Phantom Initiative. Well. I'm just gonna hop in here. Pardon me, boys, but I'm, uh... I'm yoinking your mech. Shooting your dudes.
I'm fine, you watch your own ass. Kaboom! Let's give him something else to shoot at. Fight! Board. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? Yeah, if you don't bring you Jack, Rodriguez and Prangley die. But because we have Jack, we can rescue them both. Because Jack can just blow the armor glass by herself, whereas uh, Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Prangley can't do it. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> What do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! <laughs> I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. Okay. We get more war assets if we say they're ready for battle. But they only live if we use them as support. They're definitely ready, but the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery Oh, I'm not leaving this to democracy. This is Carolina. Squad. <laughs> this is bullshit. Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f flight lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Would she have a swear jar or something? <laughs> I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. <laughs> Tune unlocked. Liberator. Shepard, damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? 
I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. And I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. <laughs> Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to... stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Yeah, when it comes to democracy, you guys can be a, a fickle bunch, as Piper's stream show. All right. Um, but yeah, poor Piper. But uh, this stream is. She had such pretty eyes. Piper did have pretty eyes. Um, but yeah. Carolina stream. Not a democracy. I have... A, th th this is all planned out. Let's uh, check with Edie. Yes, Shepard? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti <coughs> missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. <laughs> the body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Fair enough. Uh... You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. Yeah. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you experiment with it. So you're capable of making improvements on your own. Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Uh... How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me. Even though they can do so anywhere in the ship, it's because it's got a it's face. As if they wish to treat me as part of the crew, I am not. But not this yet. Changes my perspective. I like it. Not part of the crew yet, but don't worry, you'll get there. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. <laughs> I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> that face. That was a joke. <laughs> oh, that face is great. How did you and Joker make it out of dry dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. 
The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. So you deceived them. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. That, that's a good thing. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Don't start. Spent an entire war guarding a door. Yeah, but at least you're alive to tell something about it. Commander, you have an encrypted message from a... Miranda Lawson. Let's see hack it. Okay. Commander, I heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you there. We should talk. It's safer in person. You'll find me on the Citadel by Bay D24. <laughs> what kind of a name is so bad? I don't love it like that as for selection for the crew. <laughs> I remember that game! I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Yeah, these two might be guarding a door for the entire war. But it's the most important door in the galaxy. The door to the war room on the Normandy. Uh, well, that's lovely. I haven't really uh, played any of the uh, any of the rebooted Modern Warfare games. All right. Uh, Go to the strike missile. <laughs> Size on a hard drive. Holy shit, they hit the terab You don't need a terabyte size game. It's not just a lot of hundreds of eggs, Jesus. Prothean Obelisk. God, it's so nice to not need fuel and have the one pulse uh, find everything mod. I found something.
The reaper's like, hey, there he is again. Wait, why is she so fast? Come back. Damn you, Carolina. Uh-oh. Sorry, we just got the infinity drive. Signal confirmed. Credits. All right, let's go ahead and go down to the shuttle bay. We should have enough to buy our Typhoon. Yes. Purchase. Now, we're not going to use the Typhoon, but Garrus? Garrus will be used the Typhoon. Which will help him ascend to godhood. <laughs> Alright, now we've got some Citadel stuff to deal with. So strap in, everyone. This might take a little bit. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through the rotation. It is a comfortable 1.2 or 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. All right. We got two people to talk to here. Cortez and Miranda. In the embassies, we've got a diplomat and John Dumbau. And Huerta, we got Thane. Uh, Dr. Ravin and the Asaria Scientist. And Caden. Purgatory, we got Aria, an officer, and James. The Commons, we've got Liara, Edie, and Joker. And in the docks, we got Garrus, Kelly, and a preacher. Oh boy. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you in the Alliance. Are the Explorers bigger in the remake? Relieved that I don't know. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. I don't think so. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. We'll fight back. I'm all right. We'll figure out some way to even the odds. We have to. Everybody has a weakness. Even the Reapers. I'm sorry, Shepard. For what? What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. Not surprising. Shepard, there's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. 
I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. Anything I can do? What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Alright, uh, Cerberus. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. I noticed. No, he doesn't. Uh, father. Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Basically what happened is, once Miranda proved she was no longer loyal, the elusive man gave Oriana to Henry Lawson as a uh, payment for what happened on Sanctuary. Oh, it was that spoilers. I mean, I've done this how many times on stream? <laughs> if you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. All right. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. All right, now we gotta talk to Cortez. You finally made it off the Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian I was gonna say, did, did I think it's the PFS Havenkov. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. The Turians are you. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive. And that's a good thing. Maybe so. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody's given up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look. No guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. <sighs> Gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I always help Steve out because Shepard always protects, looks out for their crew. Even if I don't romance him. Okay, um, let's head to the hospital. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment,
Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Yes, I know your stock of modified Metagel is low, but... No, you don't understand. This is... I found this Metagel formula. Figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Thane. <coughs> Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. Thank you. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Kepril Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Um, uh, how long do you have? Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Um, uh, does it hurt? Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Well, stay safe. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. All right. Uh... It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the B.I. in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. Having a V.I. drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. I did. But it's the same thing, isn't it? <coughs> he walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Who cares what the hospital's named? Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone, but I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology, but with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. All right. Okay, nothing there. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Yeah. I know the Ismar frontier isn't safe. Yes. Yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you. No more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard. Udina. Udina? 
Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? Oh, it's a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. Sure. I'm so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I mean, Doc... Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. How are you, really? You doing okay? My implant got a little... rattled. So Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. Well, it's good to see you. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're going to be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me then. So I just want to make sure. Shenko Mars, still makes you sad. After Horizon, you and me, <laughs> we're good. We've been through hell together. At each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. We went through Ash's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? Are we good? We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus. But you haven't been. I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. Um, when it comes to romances, Femship gets the short end of the deal. Because basically you have Dying Man, man who cheats on you, um, guy who calls you um, a betrayer, um, someone who is really great, but only can be romanced in Mass Effect 3, Bioware's favorite uh, character, or Garrus. Savage all around. Is it any wonder why uh, Carolina went for Garrus? He's the best option. Something else, Shepard? Uh. Give me the update, Major. <laughs> Major, yeah. Congrats. There's obviously been a lot going on. Anderson asked me to take over a spec ops program for a special operations biotics division. We're recruiting the most talented human biotics from around the galaxy. What's the focus? Covert high-risk missions. Turn it down at first. I mean, teaching? <laughs> I prefer to get my hands dirty. Anderson can be pretty persuasive. Yeah, bit of a hard ass, but you can't argue with his kind of experience. Wouldn't take no, said it had to be me. With your history, you're the perfect choice. True. <laughs> it is best. Human group. biotics are. Well, we're different. Freaks, even. Most people in the galaxy still see us that way. But accepting it, embracing it, can be the difference between success and sitting at home in your PJs, taking red sand. For me, the best girl when I'm not playing Femship is Tally. I love Talion Answer. Um, because she's adorable, um, intelligent, um, I oh, yes, two choices in life accept discrimination or become a cracked addict. No in between. <laughs> yeah, that, that there the, does need to be more shades of gray there. But I will say that Mailship has great romances. 
Tally. Um, a Paragon Miranda one is very good. Um, Paragon Jack is great. Um, dude, Jeff has so many options. That makes you jump. Um, I've not romanced. Um, Uh, Ash. And I've not romanced, um, uh, any of the Mass Effect 3 only options for either gender. Because I'm usually hooked up by the time I get to or Shaq either Shaq Buffy's husband. Who's Buffy's husband? Cortez? <clears throat> Who's Buffy's husband? Fred oh, Vega. Um I have not. I know it's possible for him to be a one night stand on the Citadel DLC. Freddie and Michelle have been married for years. Ah! Real life husband. Okay, I was thinking like character. You said your implant got rattled. Everything good? Uh, the medical gibberish was a bit more impressive, but that's what I took away. Rattled. Found a great doc at HQ that's fascinated by the L2 implant. Kind of her pet project. The headaches are as bad as ever, but she's, she's got me on a regimen of acupuncture and meds and some nasty tasting concoction. Won't tell me what it is. But my biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. Or maybe you have. <laughs> are you flirting with me, Commander? Wait, wait. Don't tell me. Let me live in the illusion. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you know how it goes, Kate. It tastes good. It's working. <laughs> um, how's your family? Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver. But Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No. Not yet. But I hope... Huh. I'm hoping Dad's alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing where I am. Well, uh, let's see here. You've been injured. Sure you went right back in the thick of it? Are you kidding? I want to kick the Reapers straight to hell. Cerberus, too. People near death say their lives flash before their eyes. Well, the future flashed for me. The anguish, the, the families, the children. It made me determined to live. I need to do something, Shepard. To save at least a few lives. I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden. Um... I've also done the Liara romance as Femship. It's all right, but I'm not that big of a Liara fan. Welcome, Commander uh, Shepard. Please select the So it, it's kind of. Eh. Do you think the writers be some up there? Possibly. I mean, Alec Ryder is an N seven, so he'd definitely be in the thick of things. If you have a question, uh, please consult an Avena terminal. And the chosen writer, Pathfinder, is clearly an N7 candidate. To you are highlighted on the elevator menu. Uh, let's see here. Excuse me. Uh, let's if go to the embassies. Moment, yeah, I, I think I, I think the writers would definitely be helping out if they were here. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. 
It's waiting in bay D24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Alright, let's talk with Jordan Bow. I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. Bureaucratic compassion. That sounds like an oxymoron. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... Then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. All right. So my PlayStation says, sorry, we're unable to connect to chat to reconnect. So I will send this from my phone. Okay, it reconnected. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. I'd like to help. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Yeah, I... Um... So, the writer's probably going, what the fuck happened to the Milky Way? The one with information that could start a war. I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I <clears throat> got curious. It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. I do know that canonically the writers do learn of the Reapers. Um, in fact, um, the Reaper threat is why they left in Mass or in the events of Mass Effect Two. They sped up the timeline because they were trying to get the Andromeda Initiative out of the Milky Way before the Reapers hit. 
But it would be kind of nice if uh, there was supplemental material um, where Andromeda can reconnect with the Milky Way. Okay. We will enable that. So, yes. And military part for the RPG engineers. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. Yeah. Nobody's perfect. I actually am opposed to the idea or to the them coming back to uh, the Milky Way because of the Mass Effect, the way Mass Effect Three ended. There's got to be a canon way to do it. In which case, it would render your trilogy choices meaningless. So, I would much rather them focus on Andromeda than go back to the Milky Way. But, whatever. Three percent now, I don't think that is. Yeah. No matter what ending you pick, the Reaper threat is dealt with. Uh, even in Refuse. Because the next cycle takes care of it. But I'm pretty sure that all of us agree that Destroy is the best at high EM EMS Destroy, that is. Bow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Oloon is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Oloon. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Oloon's personal records and pull his recent messages. Sorry, did you Can mean I just note how odd it is for a Hanar <laughs> to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. <laughs> you were working your way around to it. This one does not recognize the other ghost that you much. Well, um, out of all the uh, playthroughs I've done, I have only done Destroy. So, I, I am in full agreement. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. Doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? No. And I owe you for getting Keiji's gray box back from Hawk. But I can't do another collector base, Shep. The Reapers aren't people. I can't infiltrate a Reaper party and steal a big I win bomb. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. She kind of does. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. You know, if that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's authorized to fire. Right. We'll follow through if the situation forces us to. But they're civilians. And they're keeping military ships from doing their jobs. I'm contacting Docking Central. If that ship isn't shoving off in 30 seconds... Don't fire! I'll... I'll tell them to go. I hate this. There's just no space for it. Excuse me, what does your name mean? I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours. 
waiting in Bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Uh... uh Batarian State Arms, defending the hegemony. Wait, Kelly. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. Come here. It's good to see you too, Kelly. I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. You've left Cerberus? You're not with Cerberus anymore. Working with you opened my eyes. Got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but... I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us. I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin, and... I'm relieved. They aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey, it's okay. Come on, hug her again. I'm fine. I just can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Hold on, did Cerberus let you go? Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Change your identity. Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look, change your name, get new identification. That takes time, and the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. If you think I should. I do. I'm so glad you found me. <laughs> Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. I'll send them back to you. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. Yeah, human moments are nice in games, especially in heavy games like this. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard it? Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. Jesus! We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Well, minimize their suffering. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I felt better. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. And not just because all these people need you. Because I need you. I like how they let Shepard either put up a strong front or let the people she cares about see how vulnerable she actually is. How much wear and tear she's taking. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. 
Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. Of course he is. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. What about See, Jacob? Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I'm touched. Of all the people Kasumi could fall for, why Taylor? <laughs> oh yeah, the, the forest scenes are crap. I hate those. Val, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names, So I guess don't to reprotect. Sending you the nap point for his office. I'll meet you there. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select All right. your destination. Embassies. Home, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. But what I needed. Zamandis, or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why do this? Why are you trying to help the Reapers? <laughs> we obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Served. You've got to be kidding me. They're dead. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapiens, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We are taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait, a virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! <laughs> Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! How that diplomat even get infected? Anyway, she was here the you? entire time. She was an old friend. Uh, I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor with a few friends. I'll explain what I, my theory afterwards. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy. And you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I know. And Shep. Nice working with you again. Okay, how I think it happened was... Um... That Hanar was part of the raid. 
and got indoctrinated through uh, by working with um, the scientists that got their hands on the Reaper tech. And as we know, if you work with Reaper tech and don't take appropriate shielding into account, you get indoctrinated. All right. Um, let's see here. It's been two hours. Um, and I need to get ready to um, wind things down. So I can get to, because I had to work in the morning. Um, so go ahead and call it here. Um, next time, we will uh, head down to Purgatory to talk with Arya, James, and the officer, and then we'll go to the Commons and do all that stuff. Um, Tomorrow, we'll go ahead and do um, the some more Project Wingman PS5 Conquest. Hopefully, Friday we'll be able to do uh, The Witcher or um, Sniper Elite Five with Booth. I'm not sure. Um, then Saturday we will conclude the Adler Showcase in Ace Combat 7 and Sunday will be Dragon Age 2. Uh, thank you all for joining me. I hope you had fun and I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. Good night everyone.